say the wrong one. Hello? Hello? Your voice is very low, my friend. Hard to hear you. Can you say? Okay, now go ahead. Yes. All right. Are you a Muslim? Yes, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. It sounds like you speak Arabic too. No. No? Okay. I, I heard you saying Alhamdulillah. Sounds like in a way a person is speaking Arabic. So I, I, I was asking the Muslims, why Muslims they pray? Is that because if you pray to Allah, Allah will forgive you a sin? What did you say? Sorry. Why Muslims they pray? Is that because when you pray, Allah forgive your sin? I uh, said to you, it is a command of Allah. Yeah, what, what command the purpose of it? Um, do you pray as a Christian? Yeah, we do pray. Why do you pray? Well, so you are giving me an, a question instead of answering me? Yes, I will answer you, but why do you pray? To, to speak to our Lord, you know, so we can be close to Him. Why do you pray? That is, uh, for, for us, that is also one of the reasons. No, no, you don't, because simply you are not speaking to the Lord. You are repeating your Lord's words. You are not praying to Him. Al-Fatiha yes. is a statement your God said, it's not you. So you are just repeating what he said. No, because if we are uh, doing our faces on the ground, we yeah. uh, we are talking with God. Yeah, but you are not talking to him because simply you are repeating what Allah said. If I pray, yeah. if, I, if I recite uh, the Al-Fatiha yeah. and, uh, and, and other surat, yeah. And I bow on the ground on, with my face on the ground. Yeah. I can ask everything. I can talk with my God. I uh, can have a good relation with my God. I can ask okay. and. Okay. That so is, do your do you, uh, yes. like do your God if you ask your God for forgiveness during the prayer, do Allah answer your prayer and forgive your sin, or before that He will forgive you before you do the prayer. You know when you do the prayer. Before the prayer, as I heard, that you Muslims, you have to do yeah. ablution. I don't understand you. you don't you Muslim do ablution before you pray? You uh, you mean uh, washing ourselves? Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Okay. So is yeah. the is is the ablution enough yes. for you to forgive your I'm... sin, or you need to pray to ask Allah to forgive your sin? No, no. You uh, see it uh, wrong. It is one of the uh, things of the process of uh, forgiving uh, that God forgives you. Mm. He can forgive you with your uh, uh, with your uh, al -wudu, Yeah. But if you pray, He also Allah will forgive, forgive you if you do a pollution right away. One th that is one of the. If you are if you are doing good uh, deeds. You did not do anything. You just wash your hands. But I want to ask you something. Uh, before we, before are, we change, before we change. No, no. But why you are, why you are hating so much? Yes. Chapter five, verse number fourteen. Uh, According to the Quran, it says Allah spread hatred and enmity between the Christians. So don't blame me. Blame Allah. So if I hate Islam, Allah, He said in the Quran, He spread hatred and enmity. Are you against hatred of Allah now? But but Christianity uh, spreads hate or not? No, Christianity never spread hate. Allah spread hate. So do you agree with Allah or Christianity? So which one you agree with? Which one you agree with? Allah or Christianity? Uh, if I if I see you, uh, if I hear you speaking and your uh, audience on the chat, uh -huh. I only see eight. Okay, we hate we 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 hate we hate Islam. What's wrong with that? We we hate the devil. We hate the devil. We, my friend, my friend, don't you, you see? You're changing the topic. You you make yourself a victim. You must you Muslims in the Quran call us pigs, call us animals. Listen, listen. Is it is it hate? Is it hate? Is it hate or love? Is it hate or love to say that the Christian and the Jews are less than an animals? Listen, because no, 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 listen, listen. Is it hate or love? You see, you switch your mood. You were talking nice and we were having a conversation. Now we don't want to talk about it. 
You is know it, what I'm going to say. Is it hate? No, no, I will let you talk. You are I'm jumping. Saying, you are jumping I'm one by one, one by one. Is it okay? Listen. If you are a believer in God, you would let me talk. And I'm you letting you talk. Let We're having a conversation, but you don't want to let me talk because it's an embarrassment. Can I call you? Can I call you Nedges? Can I call you Nedges? Is it okay if I call you Nedges? Whatever you want, you can call me. The, okay, so so is so is Nedges? If I call you Nedges, is that hate or love? Listen, I don't hear you. Your voice, your voice is gone. Your voice is gone. No, no, my voice is not. Okay, gone. now it's back. If I call you Nedges, is that okay? You will not be upset. I don't know what what it means, and that's. that's Nedges mean, mean filthy. Nedges mean filthy. Is it okay people, to call you Nedges? People call you. If people call you, yes, they are only very uh, bad and very angry on you. Well, this is what you your must, God said. You must ask your God. You see, you are talking about hatred. Your God, he. You are talking about hatred. Your God, he called the Christian, the Jews, the Hindus, the Buddhist. He called us Nedges, filthy. So you are insulting our prophet. I insult him. Why not? I want. I love to insult him. He insulted me. He insulted me. So I have the right to insult him back. You no, know, because I heard your life. Yeah, speaking. Okay. Before people call you, and you are insulting. So our what? Prophet. So 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 your prophet. He can insult me, and he can kill us, and he can rape our women, and he can take our churches. But we cannot insult him, and that will offend you. So you take our land, you take our churches, you rape our women, and then you say to us, why you are insulting the rapist? Why you are insulting the thief? Why you are insulting the? Okay, hold on. Do you Muslims? Do you Muslim insult Muhammad? Listen to me. I know you want uh, discussion. Do you, do you Muslims you, insult Muhammad? Do you Muslims? Please, uh, I'm asking you. You are the one who mentioned insult. Do you Muslims? Do you Muslims insult Muhammad? Yes or no? To have yes, can I can I do you give me the time to uh, answer? Sure, uh, I, I have to repeat the question one thousand times. You never answer. Do you Muslims insult your Prophet Muhammad? Yes or no? That is not a yes or no question. It's a yes, yes. or no. Is it is it, al is it allowed? Is it allowed for a Muslim to insult Muhammad? Either you say yes or you say no. Decide for me how I am gonna answer. Sorry. Oh, but, I also but, not I, 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 for you. I, then you are wasting my time. Yes. You are, you, are you afraid to answer? What what the problem? What, why it's not yes or no? Okay, if you say to me, are you is okay for a Christian to insult this? I will say no. Why it is so hard for you to say yes or no? Is it okay for you as a Muslim to insult Muhammad? Yes or no? Or it, What's is it sin or it is good? It is a very big sin. Okay, so why the campaign of Muhammad accuse your prophet to be a thief? Give me authentic hadith. I will give you, I have only the Aif hadith. The Aif hadith, is that okay? No, Daif is not. Uh, I, what okay. I will do now, I have only Daif. So you are saying to me, we Muslims, we lie. So we have Daif hadith. In fact, this is the Quran. Chapter 3, verse 161. The Muslims accuse Muhammad to do ghul, which means he is stolen underwear. Is that an insult or not? You said it's a great sin. Those are the companion of your prophet. Accusing your prophet to be a thief. So you are upset from me for saying Muhammad is a thief. But you Muslims, the best of the Muslims, the first Muslims in, uh, ever follow Muhammad, they are accusing the Prophet that he is still laundry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can uh, you show me? Yeah. Okay. Chapter three. Let me read. Chapter three, verse one sixty-one. For any Prophet to take illegal, illegally a part of. A of a booty, hulul, mm. and uh, whoever deceives his companions as regards the booty, he shall bring forth on the day of mm. the resurrection which he took illegally. Then every person shall be paid in full what he has earned, and they shall not be dealt with unjustly. Mm. So, the Muslims, uh, well, like, the yeah, Muslim uh, campaign of Muhammad, accusing Muhammad of Muhammad. a sin, underwear? No, it says, is it not for any prophet to take What, what yeah, but this was a response. The Muslims, they accuse Muhammad that he stole an underwear. It's a red underwear. And Allah is saying it's not for Muhammad. Show me. Show me your claim. You claim something? All right, here we go. Shall we read the interpretation for the verse? No, you said to me, 
about the red, uh, what did you say? A red, uh, red underwear, yeah. Yes, show me. Okay, here we go. You see my screen, right? I see your screen. All right. See, when we talk in, like, uh, in, in a nice way, uh, people will understand you. Like, let, us talk like, in, let us talk in a I, nice way. No, I, scre I, I, no I, screaming, I, no, no I, shouting. I am very respectful. Okay. Guy. Yeah, no, I don't want you to be respectful, but at least they give yourself time to talk and give me time to talk so people, they can understand what we are saying. So now, yes. uh, who is, uh, here we go. Uh, yeah, okay. I will show you the, 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 the story. All right. And... Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. It says here, and this is Afsir Jalalain, when some red velvet cloth went missing in the day of Badr, and some people began to say perhaps the Prophet took it. Do you see it? So yeah. they accuse him that he took it, he took it illegally. Even in the Muslim translation it says illegally, which means a theft. Illegally. Do you see the word illegally? This is not me saying the word illegally. This is your translation, which is not, by the way, not accurate because this is way more than illegal. This is a theft, the word Yagul in Arabic. Uh, steal it, now it says uh, took it, okay? But okay, then... okay. Hmm? So you're a prophet. Who is the one who accused Muhammad that he took it illegally? The Muslims. Why? Is that an insult? Okay. Uh, your screen is gone. Can you go back? Okay, now you can see it. No, I don't. Uh, you go back to the Quran. I want to you see will the, see it. You will see it soon. Uh, you will see it soon. Okay. When, yeah. Hmm. The following was re, uh, revealed. It is not for a prophet to be uh, fraudulent. And Yahula, a variant reading has the passive and hmm. I don't know what. Yeah. What if what if fraudulent mean? What if fraudulent mean? Okay, but fraud, right? He's a fraud. So that yeah, yeah, the yeah. Muslims accusing their prophet to be a fraud. Who? The Muslims. Those are the campaign of the prophet. They went. Uh, they went to war. Wait, wait, wait. They went to war with Muhammad, uh, uh, and now they they stole. We are yeah, talking. We are talking. The, they, they stole the booty, and but now I they are coming. Muslim. And now they accuse. They, the, 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 we can call them the disciple of Muhammad. They accuse Muhammad of stealing underwear. Who is the one insulting Muhammad? Go ahead. Okay, some people. Some people begin. They are Muslims. Say perhaps mm. the prophet took it. Perhaps. Mm. So I don't see steal it. I don't see. If a Christian uh, call me, if a Christian said uh, to me Muslim, now, if a Christian, people, if a Christian people. said to me that oh, Christian uh, prince he he took he took illegally, make, unlawfully, oh, he's a fraud. You make, listen, you make your own. Uh, how do you say that? Your own mm. scenario. Yeah? Okay. You read something and you. Uh, say uh, it is still aid and it is this and it is this. no. Well, I, I read. Well, this is what the word Yahul mean. Here we go. Muslims, meaning Yahul. Here we go. The passive or Yahul, meaning and to fraud. attribute him with fraud. Do you see it? Yes. I okay. Mean. So the Muslims accusing Muhammad of a fraud. Not for the prophet to be. Yes. Okay. What's yes? The Muslim accusing Muhammad is a fraud. I no, thought the Muslims. I don't read, those I are don't the Muslims. They, Muslims. Are, they are calling him a prophet, and they are the one who is looking for the booty. Only Muslims. I they know. are the one. Muslim live together. Now they are dividing the booty. They found that the red underwear is missing, and they are okay. suspecting Muhammad is the one we who are, took it. We're not gonna agree about this uh, subject. We can go to other subject. No Maybe, problem. Uh, okay, let us go to the subject. We were talking about your uh, 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 Muslim was speaking about Muslim. They follow the law of Moses. Can you show me, you must have you do circumcision. Can you show me from the Quran where Allah command you to circumcise yourself? Okay. I just want to ask you something before I... Uh, is Abraham uh, circumcised? Yes, he is. According to your prophet, he hit himself with the hammer. According to Christianity. Yeah, he is. And? He is. Mm -hmm. Is your God not perfect? Didn't he uh, Don't change topic. create Don't change Abraham? Topic. Don't change topic. You're, change, you're trying to run away. No, you're trying to run away. Because I want to show everybody that you must don't follow Moses. If you follow Moses, then where is the God of Moses command you? Listen, you're changing the topic. I ask you, where in Islam, where in the Quran, you see, here we go, here we get drama. Where in the Quran, my friend, you're running away because you know, because you know you can answer. 
You cannot play that games with me. I am from a very other level. I see every day. Mr. Upper Level, can you show me, Mr. Upper Level, Your, your Majesty, Your Majesty, can you please, can you please show me where in the Quran it commands you to do circumcision? I can show you from the Old Testament. Listen, I can show you from the Bible where God command the circumcision. Here we go. So, are you going to show me or not? Are you going to show me Islam is dying? Isn't your prophet? He says that Islam, Islam is start as a strange. Here we go. They, all of them, they are like a radio machine. He will let it be though. Your churches. Are he will let no. no our churches is full, and your mosque is empty. Your mosque is empty. You, I can show you things. Not only your mosque only get busy when there is women there. I can show you. Listen, 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 Abdul. Don't change the topic. You are running away. Why Allah, why Allah never command you to do circumcision? Why you don't want to let me why? talk? Because, because you don't know, answer. I you are changing everything. You want to talk about everything except the question. You are just a kid. You I said will, you I are an upper have... level. I repeat the question. Why Allah never command you to do circumcision? Go ahead. Uh, because we are following not only Allah. We are following uh, also our prophets of the prophets of Allah. Yeah, and if uh, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, command us, command us to uh, circumcise because it's, it is an Abrahamic tradition, we do that. Because Wonderful, guys, it is Abrahamic. So, why Muhammad never circumcised? Can you show me a reference that your Prophet himself shouldn't he follow the first one to follow it? Listen, listen to me. Your listen Prophet to me. Never, never circumcised himself. Is that true? I, ne I never, I never saw uh, with all uh, respect my uh, the body of my uh, prophet yes but no you have reference you talk about muhammad when he clean his bum you talk about when he shake his penis you talk about yes. everything so now you are saying to me that you muslim you forgot to mention if he did circumcise or not the only religion monotheist monotheistic religion you are not monotheist okay as long you claim to be a monotheist listen can you see, I why you are changing topic? Like we were talking about yes. circumcision. Suddenly you talk about monotheism. It's also about it is also about circumcision. Can no, I where is this? Okay, can you show can me the I command? So you are saying can to I me, we don't follow Allah. We follow Muhammad. We yes. follow Muhammad. If Allah yes. never said, if Allah no. never said circumcise, you should no. not follow they, a man. Is yes, it the yes, Quran? They don't want to listen, they listen. Only want to follow their desires. Listen, yes. listen, listen, so, listen. Okay, okay. Yes. Listen. Listen, okay. The Quran says, the Quran says, the Quran says, if you take, if you take the command of the man over the command of God, you made the man God. They are loving Christianity because there are no rules. I can do whatever I want. False. 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 You are a big fat liar. Okay. Can you show me where in the Bible it says you can do whatever you want? Can you show me? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I will expose Muslim. every single Muslim by using you. Can you show me where in the Bible it says we can do anything we want? What I want. That is Christianity. Can you show me? Can you show me what you are saying? I can show you that you can do that. I can show you from the Quran that homosexual can go to heaven. Yes or no? I can show you in the in the Bible that drunk people, people who fornicate, people who commit sin, people who they are thieves, people who they are liars, they cannot go to heaven. Can you show me in the Quran that somebody is homosexual cannot go to heaven? Jesus. Yeah, See, that are you forcing that me to hang up on you? Are you forcing me to hang up on you? Are you forcing me to hang up on you? Why you don't want to talk like an adult? Because you know you are... So, uh, no, you made an argument. You see, you changed topic. Now, in the front of everybody. In the front of everybody. Can you show me? Can you show me? Listen, listen. We cannot, keep, we cannot keep going this way. Let us talk like adults. Shut up. Shut up, potato. Potato, you're potato. You're scared. Let us have a conversation. I'm willing to show you the evidence that the Quran says homosexual thieves, drunk, all kinds of people, they, they would go to heaven guaranteed. I can show you from the Bible that the one who is drunk, the one who is a thief, the one who is a fornicator, the one who is a liar, the one who is a cheater, he will not go to heaven. Can you do the same? Can you, uh, uh, can you repeat it again? What you are not listening, right? Okay, I'm asking you. Yeah. I can show you, I can show you from the, from my Bible yeah. that thieves, adulterers, adultery, okay. fornicators, yeah. drunkard, people like this, they cannot go to heaven. They cannot go they to heaven. 
Can you show me in the Quran? Quran? Did you say that? Did you say that? Did I what? Did you say that people that, uh, that uh, are drinking, that fornicate, that raping, that they are never go to heaven? They will never go to heaven, yes. Wow. Can you show me I that from your Quran? Can you show me that from your Quran? Can I, you, can I answer or not? Go ahead. I am so glad. People, if you are watching this and uh, people from the chat, mm -hmm. please come to Islam because our Allah forgive every sin. Exactly. Only, so a homosexual only, will be in heaven. Only, Allah only never said in the Quran. Are, Allah never said. You see, you, you guys, look at the lies. Look at the lies. A second ago. Me, listen, listen. A second me, ago. Me, shut up, shut up. Let me, let me, let me make a comment about what she said. You just gave me victory. Wow. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Just, listen, for a second, just a second. Listen, just a second. You just said in the, in the beginning, you accuse the Christianity. You accuse the Christianity. That in Christianity, you can do anything. Anything. And you will go to heaven. Now you just said. You can be a homosexual and you go to heaven. In a Christianity, you cannot. In Islam, you can. So you are the one who accuse us with something. It is you who do it. Do you see how hypocrite? So Muhammad is a fraud. He cannot be from God because he promised you. As a, a, if you are a homosexual, listen. This is the this is the Bible. This is the Bible. So you just say. It. Uh, everybody heard you. They will say you didn't. You everybody didn't heard you. A drunk people. And by the way, where in the Quran it says if you ask for repentance, if you are a homosexual, you go to heaven. You are a liar. In the Quran it says, whoever believe in Allah and the last day and Prophet Muhammad, you will go to heaven. Allah forgive yes. all kind of sin if you say shahada. You do not need to I repent. You, you do not uh, need uh, to repent. You will. You will. Yeah, you will be uh, you will be a Muslim prince, and uh, may Allah guide you. Yes. Well, uh, are truth. you going to run? Yes. Are you going to run? May Allah guide you to the truth. Are you going yes. to run? Are you going to run after we discovered that you Muslims, you I'm can be for So, I, I, so I, why? So listen, listen, listen. So, so why? So why Allah? All what He required from you as a Muslim, why Allah required from you only to say shahada, and you will be in heaven. And why in Christianity, if you are not obeying God? If you are a thief, if you are greedy, if you are a drunken, if you are a homosexual, if you are, if you are, if you are fornicators, you will not go to heaven. How come in Islam, Allah made it so easy to go to heaven, just say shahada? How come in Christianity, Jesus says, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who does as well. I am not going to I am not going to run. I am working. I have a night shift till seven o'clock. Ah, in the you are calling me from work. I am here with you till seven o'clock in the morning. Yes? Okay, so answer me. So why Allah he allow you to be a homosexual just by saying shahada you go to heaven? Go ahead. Okay. Are you uh, you gonna let me answer without interrupting? Yeah, but don't change topic. Go ahead. Uh, Prince. Yeah, go ahead. You're gonna let me talk without interrupting. But, but don't change topic because each time I see something I to you, you jump okay. to different thing. I will answer about okay. the topic. All right. You gonna let me talk or not? All right. Yes, Allah will forgive every sin if you repent. Yes, you have three conditions. Three conditions, yeah, that Allah will repent. It is stay away from the sin. Yes, uh, 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 asking, uh, repenting, and have a deep, a deep, uh, how do you say that? That you are... Um, uh, regret of the fault that you did mm. then Allah will uh, uh, go to uh, the Bible Ezekiel mm. it is in Ezekiel uh -huh. but uh, your God in your Bible mm -hmm. yes also when you repent and stay away from the mm -hmm. uh, sin, God a God will uh, forgive you okay are you done yes all right yeah I am done Okay, well, all the condition you mentioned to me are not exist, this is a lie. Because your prophet, he said, as an example, unless you accuse your prophet to be a liar, he said, if you say the name of Allah 100 times, all your sin is forgiven. For the past year, listen, let me, here we go. See, don't let me talk. You don't let me talk. So, okay, so if you say, Bismillahi wa bihamdihi 100 times, Allah forgive your sin for the past year, and for the coming year. So if a homosexual, uh, hold on, hold on, hold, hold on, a okay, graceful man, no problem. So uh, uh, if you say, if you say it 100 times, 
You do not need to repent. You just say it. And, and when you call me, I ask you about abolition, if you remember. You said to me, the second you do abolition, Allah forgive your sin. Is that correct? You said that? Yes. Okay. So if a homosexual, he did not... No. He did not no. repent. Not okay. Not a oh, okay. No. Okay. Well, let's see if this is true or not. A homosexual. He pray to Allah. He say shahada. He go to heaven. And I can show you from the hadith that okay. you Muslims have a homosexual imam in the time of the caliphate. And the, the caliphate, he says, you should obey and follow. Is that correct? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I thought you are the Muslim who have upper liver of you for God. You said to me. You said to me. You said to me. You said to you me. You, you, imam from a caliphate. Yeah. Uh, more than a thousand years ago. What, what are you talking about? Yeah, well, isn't it your prophet was a thousand years ago? So now you do not know? Suddenly yes, you do not know? Have, you, said me, you, said, you said to me, you said, you said to me, you are upper level. You said to me, you said to me, you are upper level. Who said to me, you, he is the upper level? You, right? You said that to me. So I'm asking you now, is it okay for a, a homosexual to be an imam in the mosque? Yes or no? Of course not. Of course not. So if I show you now the hadith, which is but, showing but, that. But, but wait, huh? it is not, of course, not a question. You said, Listen, you sir. just said, of course not. Yeah. Now suddenly it's okay. So are you saying now, okay, you take it back. Oh, so are you oh. saying now it's okay to be a homosexual and you are the leader in the mosque? It's not okay, but if you, every human is a sinner. This is, it. don't change topic, don't change topic. We're talking about the behavior of Simar. This is another question. This is another question. Is it okay to be an Imam? You said to me, you said to me, you have to repent. The guy is an Imam leading the prayer and he is a homosexual. Can be, can he be approved as a homosexual Imam? Yes or no? If people uh, know he is a homosexual, of course uh, he cannot be uh, a uh, uh, imam anymore, but don't but me, don't but me. Here we go. This is the hadith. This is the this is the daif hadith. This is the daif hadith in the front of you. You are answering. Don't waste my time. This is a this is a daif hadith. The Muslim they came to the caliphate and they told him we are praying behind a gay who is tempting us. He is tempting them. I don't accept daif hadith. Well, okay. So why you don't accept daif hadith? Explain to us why you don't accept daif hadith. Because uh, they are calling Da'if. You know what Da'if means or not? No, I tell me. Explain I don't speak the, Arabic. To your audience what Da'if means. I don't know. You tell me. You are the Muslim who knows. You are the... Okay, so are, uh, do you accept my explanation? Okay, Da'if uh, means da no, no, no. that Muslims, they are a bunch of liars. You cannot trust what they say. <laughs> Now we are liars. Okay, okay so why you now so, okay? So now you tell me what the if you see you yes. asked me to tell them what the if is, and now we don't now want me to so tell them what the if is. Now we are liars. Da'if means it's not, uh, how do you say that? Uh, not a trust. Uh, exactly. Worthy, uh, they are liars. They are not trustworthy. They are not trustworthy. Oh, they are liars. Okay. Lying. Listen, lying. listen. It is not about the lying. It's about the chain of narration. Ah, yes. chain of narration. So what? Ah, so, so are you saying to me are, if the hadith is a true, but just because you don't have a chain of narration, Allah was not able to preserve it for you? Okay. Can I say something or not? Don't say something. This hadith, first of all, is sahih. It's not da'if. This is al-Bukhari. And I got you busted. So this is al-Bukhari. And this is not da'if. So now we took the carpet from underneath of your feet. And I said to you, we you... don't accept da'if. This is not da'if. This is al-Bukhari. I was joking with you. If you say now it is sahih, I will accept it. Okay, so here we go. An imam, he is a gay. You said to me in the beginning, no, it's not accepted. To be an imam, to be a gay. So now when you said to me, if you repent, how we repent? The guy is already an imam and he is a gay when he is praying with the Muslims. And the caliphate, he assigned him. He says, so what? Pray behind him. Even, listen, listen. We have even murderers, yeah, in the mosque. Yeah, they are praying. This is not the question. 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 Can I say something? You said to me, you said to me, a person, he repent. He is a gay now. He is a gay. When he pray... Listen, when he check. pray, he is they even they tempting the Muslims. When he pray, the Muslims are tempted because he have a nice ass. Read it. Okay, can we read it uh, together? Read it. No, I do not know how you read it. Go ahead. Uh, from I went or not? Yeah, from I went, yeah. 
I went to Uthman bin Affan radiallahu an, where he was uh, besieged and said to him, you are the chief of all Muslim in general and you see what happens, what's, nay, what has befallen you. We are led in Salat, prayer by a leader of al fitan trials and affliction, etc. And we are afraid of being sinful in following him. Uthman said, a Salat, the prayers, is the bed best of all deeds so when the people do good deeds do the same with them and when they do bad deeds avoid wow a beautiful hadith uh, wow. uh as zuhri said in your op uh, opinion one should not offer salat be behind and a, fe a, fe a, fe uh, a feminine agree, agree. yeah oh yeah uh, unless there is no i don't read uh, unless there alternative is no, i don't Huh? Alternative. Okay, well, that's good. Okay, yeah, but you said to me, you said to me, you have to repent to go to heaven. And now the leader of the prayer, the one who will take yes. you to heaven by praying behind him, he is tempting the Muslims. Listen, he is tempting them. You gave me the answer. Listen, you read it. Oh, thank you. So he, he yes. is tempting them. Let, let me ask you. Let me ask you. It's, yes. it's Sahih. Uh, why why yes. the Muslims are being tempted by his ass if they are not gays themselves too? The one is complaining. I don't like this garbage language. What do you if mean? You want to talk it says uh, here, it says here, he is tempting them, affliction, etc. So when he pray, they get tempted. Why they are getting tempted? Unless everybody in the mosque is a homosexual too. If a man, he bent over in front of you. How a man, he is not a homosexual, will be inflicted by a gay... You are, listen, you are uh, Arab. I am not from Arab. I don't I'm care if Arab. I'm an Arab, no, no, this is not, I, who cares? I'm asking you, don't change the topic. If a man, he is a gay and he is praying no, in front of you, no, why those Muslims no. are getting tempted by the gay? Obviously, they are gays too. So look at the hypocrites. Look at the hypocrite Muslims. They are complaining that the Imam is a gay, but obviously they are gays because they are getting tempted by the ass of the gay. How he tempted them? Can you tell me how he tempted them? Can you explain? Go ahead. Again, your own story, and that is what you were. It's not my own story. I have it in the front of you, and you did read it yourself. And this is authentic. This is Al Bukhari. Does it say? Does it say they are being tempted? Does it say they are being? He is giving them a trial. Does it say that he is doing fitna, which means he is tempting them? Yes or no? Where can you uh, let me? Uh, it says in the front of us. You are the one who did read. You forgot. I read. I, I, I read the story, but I didn't read uh, tempted or something else. Yeah, it says we are. He, he, so he, Imam of Al Fitna. What Al Fitna mean? Temptation of bad things. So a trial. This is the Muslim translation. Afflection, etc. Al Fitan, leader of Al Fitan. No, Al Fitna, Fitna, Imam of Fitna. You don't speak, you don't know Arabic. Here we go. It says here in Arabic, let me show you. Fitna, not Al Fitan. Fitan is something else. No, fitan. Fitna, Imam of Imam of Fitna, right. Imam of Fitna. Okay, and now. And Al Fitan. This is the, this is the stupid translation saying that. This is not even translation. It is Imam of Fitna. Let me show it to you. Listen, come on, my, my friend. It's recorded. If, I'm, if I am lying, people who speak Arabic, they will get me busted. Okay, read it. No, no, you don't read Al Fitan because it's not what it is. And so, even if Al Fitna, Al Fitan, it's the same. At the end of the day, it's the same. Al Fitna is somebody deceiving you, a liar, tempting you. Satanic Fitna is from Shaitan. So, this guy is an Imam of Shaitan. This is what Fitna is about. And they are tempted. And they are the one in the Muslim in translation oh, saying are, trial, I, affliction, etc. Okay, how this person will make you in a trial by praying behind him? He is a gay. You are lying. Okay, it's in front of you. Imam who fit nothing. But if I go to Google and I do leader of Al Fitan. I see 37 groups of leaders. And you are so, talking about Muslims. Yeah, Muslims are leaders of Fitan. They, they are the one yeah, who... Yeah, the, fierce they are the one who follow Shaitan. Yeah, you are right. 
Can you go to no no no? Can you go to Google and do leader of Al Fitr? My friend, I speak Arabic. Arabic my language. It's it's, it's your it's your yes. it's your business now. Listen, listen. So they they are being okay. Google? What affliction mean? What Google? affliction okay. and trial can mean? Why they, why they are? Google? Don't tell me go. I speak Arabic. This is my language. People, they can go. No problem. Listen, they are saying here Al Fitna between okay. to bracket Al Fitan according to you, you trial and Google. affliction it's trial and affliction so what trial. what is a trial the what is the muslim trial by praying behind this man what is the affliction and the trial uh, you uh, you ask me something or not ask you something can yeah. i answer yeah you go can ahead answer, uh -huh. can i answer without uh -huh. something uh -huh. oh. listen it is for me yeah no problem if the uh, the imam yeah uh -huh. is a murderer or homo only if he don't come committing shirk if he if he if he is a sinner if i do my prayer behind someone what, what does that mean that my prayer uh, is not uh, valid it's bullshit Bullshit, exactly. Allah. Okay, no problem. But but you see what happened now? Allah. You just say it. You just say the imam is a murderer or a homosexual. But he yeah, is the so imam approved to be an imam by right. Allah. And you said to me, as long as he don't commit shirk, he is fine. He will go yeah. to heaven. So this is what we said. In the beginning, you start saying, in the beginning, you open your radio station nonstop. You're saying, the Christian, they can do whatever they want. The Christian, they can sleep imam. around. They can, the Christian, they can sin. It turned to be, it turned to be, it is you. It is you. A man, you are worshiping a man. You yes. are worshiping a man. Yes. It's you, Muslim, worshiping yes. a man. Is it true? Okay, listen, 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 listen. Is it true? Is it true that you Muslims, you Muslims, drink the the, the, the piss of Muhammad? Yes or no? If I'm lying, tell, tell everybody. If I am lying, tell everybody. I drink rather pee of a, a donkey. Yeah. Then worshiping a man, yes. Will you worship you were you drink a donkey? I can I, show you the hadith. I you drink a donkey pee. But this is listen, listen. So now I give me don't 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 step on the question. I don't care what you prefer. I'm asking you why you drink the piss of Muhammad. You see how the Muslim run away from the question. I am not asking you what you prefer to do. I'm asking you, can you give us the reason? Listen, listen. Can you give Number us the reason? Can you give us the reason? You will not, not. You will not get away with it. Can God you give me the reason to drink the piss of Muhammad? God is not a man. Can Number you? God is not a man who lie. The Bible says God is not a man who lie. Listen, your God in the Quran says. Listen, listen, listen. Okay, we're going. Do you want me to hang up on you? Are you asking? Are you asking me to hang up? Are you asking? Are you asking me to hang up? Are you I asking me to hang up or you no want to have a conversation, radio station? Do you want to talk to me or you want to talk alone? I want to. So why are you not answering? Give me, Give me the reason no, why you Muslim to, drink the piss of Muhammad. You say that Muslim yeah. don't worship Muhammad. So give us the reason why are listening. Go ahead. Never, why am, Muslim they drink the piss of Muhammad? I never, I never drink urine. <laughs> this is not a question. Is it true or I'm lying? Is it true or I am lying? That the one who drink the piss of Muhammad, he will go to heaven, according to your prophet. Oh, uh, oh I don't know. I don't uh, know. A second I, ago, you are a high I, level. I, now you do not know. The Islam is very simple, and that's why. Exactly, it is a it's very simple. You can be a homosexual, or you can be a thief, you can be a, a criminal. Not, Just say, we, don't do commit shirk, but in the same time, you drink the piss of Muhammad. But isn't it, this is a shirk? When you Muslim, you say shahada. When you Muslim, when you Muslim, you say shahada. What do you do? When you say shahada, you commit shirk. You are not monotheist. You are not monotheist. Now listen, I'm asking you, why you Muslims? Why you Muslim drink the piss of Muhammad? Here we go. He's, he's singing for me now. Listen, okay. So you see, you see how stupid the Quran. Allah is saying, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. How come Allah is saying, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen? Allah is not God because He is the one saying, thanks to Allah. Read the Quran. It is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let us read the Quran. The read, we did read the Quran. It says that Muhammad is a thief. The Muslim accused him to be a thief. And here we go. This is your Muslim website saying, you see, you refuse, you refuse to answer. I will get you busted in front of everybody. The benefit, shut up. You are a radio station. You will never answer. Just take, take a hike. Take a hike and take your.